Hello, my name is Jeroen Aert. I work at Clickworks and we are a FileMaker or Claris Platinum partner based in Antwerp, Belgium. And yes, that's Europe. Um, now, in this video, I wanted to talk about connecting your FileMaker application to Office 365 using the Microsoft Graph API. The um, Microsoft Graph API is really a powerful API. It's a restful, state-of-the-art API that lets you unleash all the power of the Office 365 apps, such as email, calendar, SharePoint, and whatever you can imagine. Now, at Clickworks, we have been using that the Graph API to sync calendar items that we had in FileMaker with calendar data that lives in the Office 365 calendars of users. Now, as we found, and as with many things in life, first steps are often the hardest. So the first step is authentication and authorization. The Microsoft Graph API uses OAuth 2 to authenticate users, and you can authenticate on behalf of a user, or you can authenticate your uh, application as such. In this video, this is all about the authentication and authorization process on behalf of a user. And for that purpose, we created a, a demo file and we'll now switch over to that demo file. Now, before we do that, let's quickly look at the Microsoft Graph API documentation, which you will find on the Microsoft Graph API website on the Docs menu. Um, it's very well documented and the documentation on authentication and authorization you will find under the develop section and there's a section with the name get alt tokens and here you'll find the two ways to authenticate and to integrate with the office 365 uh, suite you can get access on behalf of user this is what we will be seeing here in this video. There's another way which is actually quite simpler that is get access without user where your application uses its credentials to directly access users resources such as calendar data. But we will be seeing the get access on behalf of a user which is formerly known as the OAuth 2 authorization code grant flow which is by far the most complex flow. Now, let's switch over to our demo application. So, let's look at the demo file. This file is free for you to download. You'll find the link in the comments section below. I'm going to hide the toolbar for now. So, you want to go to the settings layout first. And there you'll see two panes one with your app settings and then another one with uh, Microsoft Graph API settings. There's no need to add these settings from the Microsoft Graph API unless you want to do advanced stuff, but let's stick with this uh, data or this configuration for now. So what you want to do is uh, enter information for your apps settings and the first step uh, to retrieve that information is that we need to go to the Microsoft Azure portal to register a new app. So we are assuming that you have an Office 365 subscription and that you have uh, an administrator account. So let's log into the Azure portal. What we're going to do is navigate to the Azure Active Directory and then you'll find the app registrations menu. What we're going to do is click the new registration button. We will need to enter a name for our app. Let's call it my newest app. For supported account types, let's stick to the default, which is account from within my own organization. 
and for a redirect URI you can enter whatever information that you want we'll go with our website it's www.clickworks.eu and um, right we're gonna click register here apparently we did something wrong all right so we click the register button which is slightly outside of the screen okay let's move that into the screen for you and let's register our application well that's nice we have already information about our application or client ID we're gonna copy that and paste that into our demo application we need a directory ID or a tenant ID we also find that information here let's copy that and we'll enter the redirect URI as well right now the last piece of information is that we'll need a client secret now the client secret you'll enter that under certificates and secrets on the Azure portal so we click that and we'll add new client secret we're gonna say it will never expire and we can give it any description that you want my client secret and then you click add you'll see the value here and it's important that you copy that immediately because once you go out of this page you will never be able to see that again and that's because it's a secret you shouldn't share it with anyone else so that's very important now we move over to the demo application and we'll paste that here. Now we're all set, so we can go and get the access token. Now, let me first explain you how the authorization code grant flow works. Um, it's a bit more complex in that it requires first a user login, then the consent for the app to access user data, the app that means the FileMaker demo file here will receive an authorization code and in turn we will use that authorization code together with the client secret to retrieve an access token and the access token is then used subsequently in your integration to represent the user's authentication and authorization so let's just click the get access token here I was already logged in into Office 365, so no need to re-enter my password. I'll get a consent page, permission requests, you can see that. I'm an administrator, so I have this tick box as well. Uh, normal users won't have that. If I click X, accept, you'll see, yay, I get an authorization code and I'll get an access token as well. And this access token is what you're gonna use for further actions and further integration. Now with that, this is the end of the video. Um, we won't explain in this video on how the scripts works. The demo is free for you to download. You'll have full access to the scripts. You can look around and see how that works. Um, we assume that you are an experienced FileMaker developer and that you'll find your way. It might be that in the future that we'll do a video on the scripting of this demo as well. But for now, this is all. Goodbye.